The Heritage Foundation has actually put together a 17-member panel called the National Recovery Commission, and it has made recommendations on how and when to restart the economy safely. Well, joining us is one of the members of the commission and the president of the Heritage Foundation, Kay Cole James. Kay, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Hey, Kay, so as I just mentioned, three of these states are starting to open already. Texas is on the heels of it, and other states are right behind them. What is the way that we can do this that's that's sort of more uniform, if that's necessary, or should we be left with this patchwork system where each state is opening up and setting its own guidelines? Well, you know, the states are so totally different. And even within states, there are regions where you have hot spots and other parts of the state where you may not have uh, very much infection at all. Our form of government actually works very well under these circumstances. As good conservatives, you know, we believe that the government that's closest to the people is the government that governs best. So I think that those decisions within some parameters and guidelines should be left to uh, the governors and local communities to make those decisions. Some communities are ready to open today. Other communities uh, will require some time to put some pieces in place to protect the health and well-being of the citizens in those communities. Well, the, the Heritage Foundation that you lead has put out three overriding uh, guidelines, if you will, that walk through the steps that you think should be taken taken by each of these states. Let, let's take a look at what you guys have put forward piece by piece, right? So the first one is a decision to reopen the American economy, and it must proceed expeditiously and involve most communities in the country. Stay-at-home orders should be targeted, temporary, and smartly applied. Okay, let's go to the second phase. State and local authorities should reject calls for universal testing of every American before loosening social distancing and instead embrace targeting testing. We must not keep the economy shut down until universal testing is available. And then the last thing that you guys suggest is that governors should communicate extensively with counties and mayors to deploy decisions on whether it's a county level or zip code level basis. So. Is that something that you guys have been engaged with with each of these states and gotten this collectively? Or what it, What gave you guys the insight to issue this guidance and these recommendations? The interesting thing about the commission that we have at the Heritage Foundation is that it's made up of healthcare experts, it's made up of economists, it's made up of small business owners, uh, it's made up of uh, academics, and it's made up of individuals from uh, the civil society portion of our uh, of our country, so faith-based leaders. Bringing all of those individuals together and based on the research, the data, and the analysis that's available, we were able to come together, bringing all of that expertise and come to what I believe are some common sense recommendations. Um, we don't have to have an either or. Are we going to protect the health of the citizens or are we going to save the economy? Uh, we must do both and we can do both. It just takes some common sense, some principles, and it takes a, a, a little bit of tolerance of understanding the differences that exist across our country. Kay, you know, the president obviously put out his phases as well last week. How did these coincide? Side very nicely. Um, we are feeding our recommendations through me into the White House, as well as to governors, as well as to uh, mayors and, and uh, people within the local communities. So there are some differences, but I think that, uh, quite frankly, they fit together very nicely. Uh, both the president and uh, our, our commission agree that it's time to look at how we restart our economy. People are frustrated, desire to go to work, and where we can protect health and safety, we should go ahead and do just that. Okay, President Trump was asked about some of these loans that are being given to businesses with c companies like Ruth Chris Steakhouse and Harvard University. Let me show you what he said. 
Uh, we'll look at individual things, and some people will have to return it if we think it's inappropriate. But should the criteria be changed that that money goes to people who need it? Well, it's being done by great professionals. It's being done by banks, and as you know, community banks all over the country, they're, that's what they do. They loan money, and they're supposed to do it according to uh, not only criteria, but according to what we think is right. Uh, but if somebody got something that we think is inappropriate, we'll get it back. Okay, we don't have a lot of time left, but let me just ask, do you, do you agree with the president? I mean, if you're a company or an institution that got this money and you're not a small business, should you give the money back? We believe that that money was intended to help small businesses. By definition, some of the companies that have received those funds don't fit in that category. So uh, any relief that comes should be targeted, should be temporary, and it should be transparent to the American people. So that's a yes. If you're Ruth Chris, they should give the money back. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm not prepared to quite make that statement, but I think it fits the guidelines. If you're small and if you really deserve and need those funds, they should be available. And I think the president and uh, Ruth Chris going to work that out. Yeah, maybe over a, a nice steak. The president does love his. <laughs> well, thank you for, for being here and thank you for sharing your recommendations with us. Thank you.